Welcome everybody, nice to be here this morning. You know, this is a program that we kind of dreamed up and thought about and, and thought about how we could honor some people that uh, go about their business doing a lot of things for other people but never get a lot of credit for it or never get any recognition for it. It's what I love about heroes. They're usually behind the scenes, under the radar, uh, but they're the guys and gals that make things happen. And I know Gary's been uh, just working hard for a long time uh, with his charity and his program and what happened with his daughter and all those things. So uh, he's, he's a perfect example of what we think a hometown hero is and what they represent. So uh, Gary, thank you uh, for all your hard work. Thank you for being here this morning. Uh, thank you for your passion, for uh, doing what you do, a labor of love. Definitely. Uh, I always like to say, out of, in racing, we always think out of something bad always comes something good, we hope. And I believe that's a good example of what you've been able to do. Thanks. So congratulations and thank you for being here this morning. Thank you so and, much. Uh, and our, we always like to give you a, a little uh, check for your favorite charity. <laughs> We know who that's going to be. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and, uh, and, and then, of course, a trophy uh, to kind of represent the, the day and, and the fact that you were here and that you're one of our heroes. Well, I want to I wanna say how much I appreciate this and, and uh, thank you very much for naming me Hometown Hero. And unless you've gone through the loss of a, a loved one for, for whatever reason, uh, there's there's just no there's no feeling like that and especially with these children uh, my family and I we we came to know a lot of the children that uh, spent time at the hospital with when autumn was there and I do uh, you know it's one of those things that uh, I don't really consider myself a hero uh, after my daughter passed away I was We had tried to make her life, her 16 years that she had, as fun-filled as we could. We took, her to, we took her to Disney World. We took her to Bristol to see her favorite driver. And as I say, Daryl, I'm sorry, but it's Rusty Wallace. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> I'm going to take but, the check and run, Gary. <laughs> but after, after Autumn passed, we just... Uh, my wife and I and family and I just, we just didn't feel like we could, could uh, get away from being involved with cystic fibrosis because we had seen the pain that the families had gone through and all the pr procedures and everything that these children go through. And when you're that age, when you're, a, when you're a child, you're supposed to be out playing, playing ball, skipping. You're not supposed to be in a hospital being poked and prodded with experimental medicines. And so we just, we, we wanted to do whatever we could to, to promote awareness for cystic fibrosis and a cure. But at this time, all that being said, I want to donate my award to, some, to all the individuals that I think are the true heroes. That's the families and the, the children that are dealing with this on a, on a daily basis and have dealt with it in the past. And I have a friend of mine here that I want to give this award to because he is the epitome of what we are working for. He, is, uh, he was born about the same time my daughter was and was given the same prognosis of life. And he has shown through hard work and dedication, you can make it make it last and, and uh, Jake Bachman is, he is. All right. Well, I want you to know, Jake, that's a first right there, buddy. For, some, for one of our heroes to pass it off to one of his heroes and uh, that's, that's quite an honor. And uh, you know, you, you nominated Gary. Yes, uh, sir. And I, do you have your, uh, would you like to say a few words about Gary since? Uh, <laughs> Um, yes, sir. I got to know Gary through um, when his daughter, Autumn, was sick um, through another friend of Autumn's named Tori, who her, Tori's mother worked for me, and Tori's mother let me know and love Tori unselfishly. When Gary lost Autumn, he 
um, his, at that time frame, Tori was healthy and then she turned sickly just a few years after that. It's hard. That's when Gary and I became friends um, in a whole different um, frame of friendship. Yeah. We, Gary was doing fundraisers in his backyard and they grew to, 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 to through different phases. And four or five years ago, we did our first Autumn and Friends golf tournament. Oh, wow. And, and, it, and it, has, it has grown, all of our fundraising has grown through the years. And through losing, we lost Autumn, or Gary lost Autumn, and then we lost Tori. And, um, and we've continued the fight to raise funds, and we, and we still will continue that until there's a cure found, Gary nor myself or any of our friends or associates or anybody that, that knows us, knows what's in our heart is to continue to raise funds for cystic fibrosis, for Jake and all the other children, that, um, the Josies and the Dublins and all the other kids out there that have CF. Gary and I both live in Wilson County, and we have nine families affected in Wilson County alone wow. with cystic fibrosis. Yeah. So we will continue on yeah. with our fundraising. Um, I have lots of friends and people here. Um, I know y'all are NASCAR fans. <laughs> you know, I have a, you know, Randy Fuller with the Pittsburgh uh. Steelers is here with us today, and I have friends that you know in the music industry. We have them here with yeah. us today. Um, it, it just grows and grows, and we're, through networking, our fundraising, we hope, is endless. And so we find a cure. It's a perfect, y'all are a perfect example of people standing on the sidelines saying, well, what could I do? I'm just one person. Can do a lot. One person has a voice. Yes. And one person can attract other people, and that, that's really what I think y'all have done. And yes, sir. You built a nice little network, and you're doing great work for a great cause. And you've been affected by it, so you 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 can speak from experience. Yes, Probably sir. wish you didn't have those experiences, but nonetheless, we you've do. been there, you've done that, and uh, and the, your passion shows, and that's what hometown heroes are all about. So, uh, congratulations, Gary. Thank you. Yeah. You're with a Appreciate great it. group of people here, yeah. and young man, <laughs> how's it feel? You. I like it. It's <laughs> Handed that right on over to you, didn't it? You got a place for that? Uh, oh, yeah, right there on my desk. <laughs> oh, great. I, I want to remember what Gary does because he's right. Uh, when I was born, uh, my life expectancy was 12 to 13 years old. Wow. Obviously, I've, wow. I've surpassed that, but I haven't surpassed it just out of luck. Yeah. Surpassed it because of the work that they've done. Yeah. Um, just the tireless work. I mean, right now, the life expectancy of a CF patient born today is 40. Wow. I mean, that's, that's amazing to... Oh, yeah. it is. That's incredible. Great work. I mean, that, that's huge. And, I mean, and uh, to know what the parents go through. I mean, I was born with CF. I knew, you know, the day I was born, I didn't know any better. I have a hard time. I have a two-year-old right now. I have a hard enough time getting him to eat dinner. <laughs> I can't imagine what my mom and Gary and all the parents have had to go through to make their kids do hours and hours of therapy a day that for a parent to... You know, hope for that healthy kid and, and to have a, have a kid with CF, the, the work that it takes, and, and then to go farther and say, not only am I going to put in hours and hours a day making sure my child can be as healthy as possible, but then to go fundraise to say, okay, now I'm making my child healthy. I'm going to raise even more money beyond this yeah. to try to find a cure and then to see that happen. I mean, I'm in my 30s right now and the life expectancy is 40, but with the work you guys have done, every time I hit a new benchmark, it seems that that hits a new benchmark because the work you guys have done. And, you have no idea what that means to me. I mean, when I was younger, I didn't know if I'd have a high school graduation. And, and now I, I plan on seeing my son's high school graduation. I mean, that's, I mean, you have no idea what that means to me. Yeah. Well, this is a trophy, but think about it as a torch. And, and they're going to, eventually they're going to pass that torch to you and you'll be the one that's out there doing the, the work and the fundraising because of your experiences and what you've, what you've gained from what they've done. So yeah. congratulations to you. Thank and, you. Uh, Keep up the good work, all of you. Congratulations. Thank, thank you again. You betcha. You, Thanks. You have no idea how much Good we deal. appreciate it. All right, that. guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, brother.